Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, it's been so long since I've vlogged. Um, time just got away with me. I was working the last few days, um, so essentially there were new jobs that I was starting, so I was really tired. And I also had a telephone interview yesterday morning um, for my new job. And um, that was with um, Belgium, which is where the team is based that I'll be working with. Um, so I'll be going to Belgium in January, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, I was just so run down and I've got a kind of cold again just from like doing so much. Um, but yeah, on so I thought I'd just like tell you like what I was doing. Um, so on Thursday I worked at the Dior counter in Boots in Oxford, which was quite interesting actually. I really enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Um, I can't say I enjoyed the commission side or the fragrance section but towards the end of the day I got to go on the makeup bit which is really really cool um, and I got to do this lady's makeup and she was so lovely and was like I've never met anyone like you before like can I just take you with me and she was so sweet and she asked my like phone number so she could like ask me questions and stuff about like makeup and beauty um, so I did her makeup and it was so fun playing with all the Dior makeup products because they're so such good quality and they just make anyone really look fabulous. Um, so yeah, that was really fun. Um, and I just lost track of time and I ended up leaving like 40 minutes after my shift ended <laughs> because I was just having fun doing her makeup, but um, which I won't get paid for. But um, yeah, so it kind of made me rethink my career choices. Um, and I've always thought about doing like a makeup course or looking into that kind of thing, but I never thought... I don't know, I never thought I'd be good at it, so um, yeah, I'm kind of considering doing maybe something on the side in the new year. So that was really fun. And then, I'll sit down because I feel like this is going to take a while. Um, and then on Friday, which is yesterday, I worked at Paul Smith again in Vista Village, which um, I'd worked at before, so that was fine. Um, everyone's very friendly there. Um, customers were okay, but again, I was, because I had the interview in the morning, I was running quite late. So that's why I didn't vlog, basically. So that's my excuse. I'm really sorry, but I'm back. Um, it is Saturday now, and this morning what I've done really is I went for a run because even though I'm feeling really bunged up, I knew I'd feel better after I did it. So I went out and I do feel a lot better. I ran about five. I made it to 6k, but I had to run like the last um, kilometer because I was tired and my body was like, no, <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing this. So, um, yeah, I went for a run, had a shower, had my acai bowl for breakfast, which I put on Instagram because I just love acai bowls and like any excuse to share them. Um, and then I went to town. I was considering going to the Primark, which is not too far, well, about 20 minutes down the M40. But I thought, given that it's the weekend before Christmas, it would be like crazy busy and I was going to leave about 11, which is probably peak time when everyone's like emerging from bed and deciding to go out. So I left that. Um, yeah, so I decided to go into just into Bissa Town instead, which they don't have much selection. Um, all I wanted really was some jogging bottoms, um, something cosy to wear inside the house, because I didn't really like the ones I had, which I mentioned in my last vlog, I think. Um, sorry if I sound really bunged up, by the way, it's because I am. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just got these, I ended up getting these, um, I don't know if you can see them, just like, not the most flattering things, but um, grey jogging bottoms, they're like super soft ones from Peacocks, which isn't, never like a shop I go in normally, but um, yeah, I was quite surprised um, that they had them, and they were obviously an affordable price, because it's Peacocks, um, so yeah, I was pleased I got those. And then, what else did I do? I went into Dorothy Perkins, um, nearly bought a jumper, but I was good, and didn't. But I did get um, a pair of jeans, a really nice pair of jeans, um, which are like a light wash pair, I'll show you. Which you'll probably see me wearing them soon. Um, so this is called the KC Relax Skinny Fit, um, and it's they're quite loose. Well, actually they're not really loose, I'm just skinny, but not like really, really super tight. Um, got them in size 8, these are petite, so they're quite a good length for me. I'm 5 foot 5, but um, so normally fit regular, but these ones fit better than the regular length ones for me. So yeah, I'm really pleased with those. I think having like a light pair of jeans really helps to brighten up um, darker outfits this time of year because I think um, 
I just wear so much black and neutral colours that it's nice to have something a bit brighter. And then I also got a pair of um, just like black leggings from New Look because you could always do a black leggings and the high waisted which I like because I feel like they suck me in more. Um, oh and my, I've got a new bulb which is super exciting. Um, it's this one but it's like a daylight one. So if I turn the light on I'll show you. It's pretty bright and you can see the difference already really bright and it was only like five pound from amazon um so i think i said before i wanted it just for like if i'm vlogging in the evenings i think you can see the lights a bit it's a bit better so um hopefully it will make it more pleasurable for you to watch um and it won't be so like dim and dark but yeah so that's what i did this morning and then i did some vacuuming for my mum because um i just like to help out around the house when i can and yeah, I'm just thinking about New Year's already because I want to do something for New Year's Eve. But I'm working at half nine on New Year's Day, so it has to be like something that I'm not going to be like dying the next day. Um, something in like just a nice dinner and like drinks, a few drinks, not many. Um, I'm not like a huge drinker anyway, to be honest. So, like, I'd rather eat <laughs> than drink. Um, yeah, so I'm just thinking about that. And I feel like I've just not been on social media or blog much um, recently, so I'm going to do a bit of like blog work this afternoon because I do miss it when I like don't do it. Um, so yeah, I'm working tomorrow as well, so I've just do been doing some of the things I normally do on a Sunday, which is like um, epilated. I epilated this morning. Um, probably fake tan later. I'm just taking off my nail polish now. I've had the nail polish on my toe for like a month and when it's like a dark colour, it was like a dark red, so hard to remove, so um, just remove that. But what I did use, which I love, um, and I may as well show you, is the Bourjois like Miracle um, Remover, I think it is. The um, one, this is the one for hands and feet. So you have, I'm going to show you in case you haven't seen it before, it's really good if you paint your nails a lot. There's a hole in this, and if you can see, it's probably not going to show up. Um, but you dip your finger in it and it's got the um, nail varnish remover inside already so it removes your nail polish and it says one second but it normally takes me a couple more because I put quite a lot of I put two layers on and top coat and base coat so I think it's a bit thicker than some people's might be um, and then this one is the one for feet as well so you use this um, on your toes which I did find good but the only thing is it does kind of the red colour I was using did stain it a bit, um, it did make it a bit, um, well my toes a bit red, so that will have to wash off soon. Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. I am wrapping my Christmas presents today, so I thought I would show you what I'm doing. Um, I got some tartan wrapping paper, put some ribbons and some bells, and basically I'm all for wrapping. Um, I'm left-handed so it's a real challenge for me so I thought I would just buy a few things that would detract hopefully from the fact that I can't wrap to save my life so um yeah actually when I was at Dior last week I was I had to do some gift wrapping for the customers um because everything they bought they could have it gift wrapped and it was just a nightmare like I can wrap but like not very neatly um and because I'm left-handed I find scissors really hard to use if they're right-handed scissors so um I was there like trying to cut this ribbon for ages in the end one of the women had to help me but um yeah so gift wrapping is not going to be my future career I can tell you that now um so I've got a few presents to wrap nothing major um I've just been brainstorming some ideas this morning for like blog posts and videos for the new year and over the Christmas period um I have a couple of days off around Christmas but I'm working Boxing Day New Year's Day so that will be pretty crazy um but yeah, I've got a few smallish gifts to wrap and I tried to pick things that were shaped well so that I could wrap them easily because I'm conniving like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap these now and then later on I'm going to my Nana's house to paint her nails. Because um, I had mine done yesterday. I did film a bit of a clip of that yesterday but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it in. Because <clears throat> I didn't really vlog the rest of the day. So um, yeah, I painted my nails like a, I had my nails done like a red sparkly colour. So yeah, I'm gonna 
my nan came around yesterday and said she liked them so I'm gonna go <clears throat> do hers this afternoon about two o'clock and yeah that should be nice um she's not feeling my, very well so I thought I would treat her to that actually I'll choose now I'm gonna use um this is my collection of nail polishes not very many <laughs> obviously um so I think I'm gonna go for like a red colour for her and probably quite similar to what I'm wearing so there's this fishnet stockings one by Essie, that could be a potential. Um, I think she's going to want a red because that would be a nice change. Um, maybe not midnight red. Something metallic could be quite nice. Um, I know my mum's got a Lake and Denny one. But I really like this one actually, the fishnet stockings. So I might stick with that. And then I need to find some sort of shimmer or glitter shade because I'm going to use a Sally Hansen gel top coat on her because gives a nice plumping effect. Um, nail strengthener because you would need one of them. I buff her nails because that's what the um, manicure did to me yesterday and it, I think it helps keep the nail polish on longer. Um, let me think. There is this one. Not that one. I saw another one yesterday I was going to use. Where is it? It's a Leighton Denny one. That's pretty though. I've got that on my toes now. I might have to look in my mum's room, I think she might have it, but yeah, I'm thinking this one could be quite sophisticated in growing up. I actually went for glitter, I wasn't going to, but um, she convinced me, so yes, um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to wrap my presents and listen to some Christmas music, which is what I've been doing most of the morning basically, so um, yeah, productive morning for me. Well, I've got a new video which went up yesterday. Um, which is a get ready for work with me video and yeah it's the first time I've done like a voiceover so um, a bit of a challenge but um, I know how to do it now so hopefully next time it'll be a bit smoother. But yeah it's how many days is it till Christmas now it's like 20... three days till Christmas Eve and four days till Christmas so I'm really getting excited now and can't wait um, spend time with family and just open presents and eat lots of food basically. I'm going to tell my family not to watch this so I will show you what I'm wrapping but I thought I'd say that um, I found my scissors and I was saying before about being left-handed and how awkward it is. These scissors are left-handed scissors which I think my nan got me when I was, I can't what year I was in, um, I was at school and they're actually labelled with my name because obviously I was worried that people were going to steal them because I think they're quite expensive, like they're quite fancy scissors um, but I can use them perfectly and I still have them and use them all the time so they've lasted well but I just thought it was hilarious that they're actually labelled and I could take it off but to be honest I quite enjoy having it on there <laughs> um, so never know they're mine but yeah I'm going to use these to wrap my presents because it will make it a lot easier um, so I'll show you what I've got wrapped. Um, so these are what I'm using. I'm using some tartan wrapping paper. These are just Sainsbury's, nothing fancy. Some ribbon, which I've actually never used before. Um, hopefully I can tie that okay. Um, some bell toppers, which make a jingling noise, obviously. And I'm wrapping... My sister's got some to wrap as well, so we split the wrapping. Um, these are my brother, some sweets and chocolate basically <laughs> because he'll love them um, and this is my sister's I'm talking quietly because she's in the next room um, like an eyeshadow primer so I'm going to tell her not to watch this but this is what she's getting um, for my mum we've got she wanted a NYX butter gloss which is a shade tiramisu um, really nice nude shade so hopefully she'll like that um, and here is her watch that she wanted, which is a new look. Um, they do really nice watches if you haven't seen them before. So that's in there. And then, as a little surprise, we've got a bourgeois nail varnish remover for her hands and feet, which um, she said she wanted to try, but it's never bought for herself. So we thought we'd get her that. And then there's a couple other things in my sister's room that she's going to wrap. Um, and then these are also for my mum. Um, the Hylamide HA Blur blurring surface finisher I think it's a primer and the same with this one this is a matte 12 up to 12 hours of visibly matte and pore free finish so a couple primers there you can see where I get my beauty addiction from um 
So I'll definitely be trying to give those a go when um, she gets them. Yeah, I just thought I would show you the little things I'm wrapping. Um, the shapes aren't too weird, so hopefully it will be okay. We shall see. <laughs> Anyone ever seen that Michael McIntyre sketch where he's talking about gliders when it comes to cutting wrapping paper and how some people can just like use the scissors and slide up and it goes really smoothly. I'm definitely not one of those people because I always look it. <sighs> my share of presents and I think they look okay. So it didn't take very long. Um, it's quite pretty, I put the ribbon around it and the bells. Um, and then I kind of stuck the bells on where I felt like it. I'm not sure they meant to even go there. And then all the ribbon because I think the ribbon looks cute and disguises any mistakes in my packaging. But yeah, um, I think they look quite cool, quite festive. So I'm gonna put them under the tree. And that was done. I just got a package which is my Society 6 art prints um, I ordered a few weeks ago from America and I'm going to put them in these frames up here because I think they look a bit kind of, I'm kind of outgrowing them now so I've got some new ones and I ordered them from Society 6 as I just said and it's like a art print website and um, they've got some really cool like illustrations, quotes and that kind of thing. I'm struggling to actually remember what I chose because there's so many to choose from but um I'm going to open them now and show you which ones I picked and hopefully they will fit the frames okay. I did measure them but um, you never know so let's see what they look like. Right, so my receipt. I didn't get charged customs which is good because I was a bit worried that that would happen. Um, oh yeah so I got a quote by Coco Chanel which says beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. I thought was a nice reminder um, to look at and I definitely agree with it. This is going to work so I'm going to put it down. I really like the font on this one, I think it's really nice. Um, oh yeah, I got the, these llamas because I thought they were really really cute. And I just think llamas are really funny so I thought that'd be quite a happy picture to look at to work on my wall. And oh, there's one underneath here. And to add a bit of colour, I got this green leaf print because I thought it was really nice. And I'll probably put the quote in the middle and have these to either side. Um, I need to trim the edges so it fits in the frames, but eventually I will get some black frames to go around them. But um, I think they look pretty cool. Um, so the ones that the frames I've got at the moment are quite thick, and I think they look. I just hit my foot on the drawer. Um, I think they look too big and bulky, but um, it'll be okay for now. But I think I'll get some thin ones. Yeah, really happy with those. Um, I got the name of the website from Kate Levy's blog. Um, she has an amazing um, house and interior inspiration, so I got the idea from her, and yeah, I'm really glad I got them. I think when I ordered them, I got like free shipping, which makes it good. Um, so yeah, exciting delivery today, and um, I wasn't expecting to get them for Christmas, so that's turned out well. I'm obsessed with having avocado and hummus at the moment. I've just put them on some crackers with some lemon juice and black pepper. Um, so yeah, nice taste in them. Great news, I've just been offered a new job. The job that I was waiting, oh my god, look bald in this light. Mm, you can see my hair there. The job I was waiting to be offered has finally been given to me for more money than I thought I'd get, so that's amazing and I'm so happy. And yeah, I'm just in the car because I was coming back from an appointment in Abingdon, but um, 
really happy and it's the best Christmas present I could have asked for I think to know what I'm doing in the new year and um, I'll be going to Belgium in January so that's really exciting and a great start to the year so I'm gonna get some things from Tesco and then go home and celebrate. So now I'm home I've told my family the good news um, I've just got this Christmas card from my Nana to open so I thought I would do it on camera and yeah so today has been an unexpectedly very good day literally the best Christmas present I could have asked for so really really happy um I'm just trying to open this mm -hmm. yeah. see I'm trying to pretend I'm not wearing my dressing gown but I am so that's secret out ah cute card so I forgot I got the daylight bulb and then didn't actually turn it on but yeah really happy and going to have a glass of wine or two this evening with my dinner and then just chill this evening I think and catch up on vlogmas videos so and also edit this vlog so that's the plan for tonight and then tomorrow I think we're doing a bit of Christmas um food shopping that kind of thing so that's something to look forward to and yeah it's been a great day and I'm very very happy There's a bright star shining tonight I have never seen before